Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Endless Space 2, where we are about to colonize G Gikra. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's the thing we're going to do. Um, I think there's some other things that I need to do. Discover a black hole. Okay, I do not receive its benefits until my influence is large enough to encompass this, I'm assuming. But plus 50 science is pretty awesome. Your effects applied to space battles, plus 25 extra experience on fleet, minus 50% projectile weapons damage on ships. Okay. Very cool. Uh, fleets are still moving? That one's out of movement. What else is moving? Oh. My guy up there is still doing stuff. That is fine. Looks like we're ready to end our turn. Oh, we don't have a construction queue, that's right. We have a home home system again. What do we want to build? Mm, infinite supermarkets? And kind of offset that negative 10 from planets. I don't know if that's really a problem, though. Uh, we're not getting any status effects for 40%, so we'll just leave it. If it becomes a problem, then we can change it later. Mm. You have a monsoon tundra and a toxic, so that's not very helpful. What do we want to do then? Well, maybe we could build some. Oh yeah, didn't I lose a leech? I think I lose. I lost a leech over here in Kuma. We were, you know, enslaving their people and whatnot, stealing all their essence. We should probably build another one of those. Probably two, I'm thinking. Sounds like a good idea to me. And then we can end our turn. So it looks like our influence is still growing. It's good. The other thing I might want to do is buy population. That's something... What is it? Holy proliferation here? We need 250 essence to do it, though, so... Not really ready to do it quite yet. Let's go visit these guys. New minor civilization, the Mavros. They're pragma pragmatists and constructophiles. Cool. Uh, they are immediately attacking me, it looks like. Mm, I don't think that we want to fight here. We're, we're not looking... Oh, looking great. So we're going to try to retreat. No effects. We lost some hull. It's fine. We will send this guy direct over here. And yeah, I think that's good for now. I think what we really want right now is like a proper fleet. You're going to skip right over these defending fleets. They're owned by the Reavers. Are you the Reavers? You're not the Reavers. Who are the Reavers? That's an interesting question. Uh, you're going to go over here. In fact, we should probably meet up both of those guys, both of the wheels. And um, we will um, try to build up a military fleet after we get a couple... You know what? Let's only build one leech. Let's, let's only build one leech. We're going to try to research a hull. I think this one is the first hull that we can get. So after we do this... I mean, it would be nice to get the Ash Worlds. But we're not going to be able to colonize them anyways if we don't have military supremacy. So we need to get that. We can end our turn, we can get out of the tech screen. Looks like this guy is in port. We're gonna anchor him. Low manpower. Our empire lacks troops to fill our star systems fleets. Star systems and fleets. Okay. That's a problem. How do we get more manpower? 
Does it tell me anything here? It just says plus 12 from systems, minus 93 from fleets and systems. So I'm assuming these guys are sucking up manpower, right? It doesn't say anything about it in there. Thing. Is this going to be an economy, maybe? Lesson in economics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Family resource improves the manpower when used in system development. We don't have any of that, though. Hmm. I wonder how we get more manpower. Is that something... Wait, what's here? Plus 20% manpower capacity, plus 10% food to manpower on systems that's not a bad idea I mean I don't really ever expect to get great growth out of food anyways that might be worth it but we'll keep looking around see if there's anything else we can find out about manpower just reading this text here I don't see anything about it though no hero for the militarists. Okay, so it's not a government, it's not an economy. Um, we have two arcs here. Two population. Road to victory. Select the victory tab to learn the many ways your empire can be the galaxy's dominant civilization. Sure, let's check it out. So it looks like there's wonders, score, supremacy, conquest, science, and economy. Um, I don't know what we want to go for, honestly. Bring all the major factions, home systems under your control, maybe. What is conquest then? Bring a certain percentage of star systems under your control. Depends on the galaxy size, number of players, etc. You own two out of the 42 required star systems. That's never going to happen to us. Uh, we probably want to go, like, economy or something, right? Four victory attacks. That might happen as well. But yeah, more than likely, we probably won't get supremacy or conquest just because we need to build so many arcs that it won't really be viable. And I don't know how score is calculated, so I'm not even going to try for that. What is this wonder stuff? Obelisks. Okay, that's some special building, I'm assuming. Yeah, we'll probably be trying to go for economy or science victories here. At least in this playthrough. Mm. Still don't know how to get this whole manpower thing under control. Maybe in the next turn, it'll turn around. Maybe, like, we just lost a bunch because we anchored. But I'm really not sure. You probably want to build something in this system. So I think the cerebral reality thing is built on the ship. I think all of these improvements are built on the ship. So no matter where I go, I still keep them, which is amazing. Let's go ahead and build that. I wish that I could, like, see it, though. Like, it's hard to tell what you have. No list there. Well, I guess I should probably look at the one that actually has something. Um, let's see. I don't, I don't see buildings. Only shows improvements, only shows ships. But where can I see current improvements? That's my question. Austere yet functional. What does that mean? Yeah, I know. Road to victory. I saw that. Policy. Oh, that's neat. Um, let's focus on dust. Dust is very important right now. Actually, I actually should probably look at the systems. I think this one should definitely focus on dust. This one should probably focus on science. Either science or production. Let's focus on production. Hmm.
No. Does this tell us anywhere what improvements it has? It doesn't. I don't think it does. I think that's probably something that's like in the planetary summary, but since we're not planet bound, we don't see it. I'm not sure. Might be a UI issue that needs to be fixed. Or maybe I'm just not looking in the right spot. Who knows? Uh, can I send a probe to do that? Oh, they can do it themselves. That's pretty cool. Yeah, do that. Are there any things in here? Yeah, do all those things too. Hmm. Well, maybe, you know what? We do want the cere cerebral reality because, you know, that's a pretty amazing thing right there. All of our ships are still moving, getting put together. There's another Reaver fleet over here. Those Reaver people are uh, a little annoying. So we just got our plasma metallurgy. We are working on efficiency yielding next, which is going to get us those uh, these ship holes, the Sulayim and the Toysum class ships, which are pretty great. Um, we can enhance the Sulayim or the Toysum. What's up here? Art class hull, level two. Or Tom class. Art class hull, level three. Or Tom class. One thing I wanted to think, wanted to see is um, we can modify these art designs. These things look pretty damn powerful. Holy crap. Oh yeah, these things are amazing. Wow. All right. So if we put some defensive stuff on here, like we'll be unstoppable. Looks like we already have some armor. Oh, I can put on like special things. Interesting. Can we put this anywhere else? We can put it down there. And then we can say like, all must provide. That way we're always getting a little bit of a, what do you call it? Oh, it's gonna cost me more of the uh, essence, I think is what it's called. That's fine. We probably want to add some weapon systems. It looks like we have missiles and projectiles already. So let's get some plasma beams. Might as well. And then... There's a shield somewhere, right? I thought there was a shield. We have Hyperium engine, huh? Ship evasion plus 10%. That's fine. I don't know anything about evasion and all that yet. Here's the shield. Put the shield on here, and then we get another one. So, let's see here. Cost, energy defense. There's no maintenance for that. Is there maintenance for this? Health bonus, projectile defense. Alright. No maintenance for either. Can we fit the repair bots in there? No, they're like a utility slot thing. Um, what do we think is more important, armor or shields? Stellaris would tell me armor, but this game may favor energy weapons, so shields would be better? I don't know. Lower health bonus, but we get the shield capacity and energy defense. Let's just put on armor. Why not? Apply design. So now how do we upgrade our ships? Uh, what is this? Slow down, Starfire. Right now you're only slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. We only have civilian ships. No, let's keep the tutorial going because I don't know anything about this game. Well, I know a little bit, but, you know. First red perch. Can we, like, upgrade you? It's tech. Retrofit? Cannot afford it. Alright, fair enough. But yeah, then we can start kind of upgrading our arcs. Which would be great because they're already freaking amazing. Look at that. Look at that stuff right there. Compared to like these little guys, the 
<laughs> these are nothing. I can kill like 30 of these with one arc ship. Uh, alright. What is this? Technology stage unlocked in the economy and trade quadrant. Economy and trade 2. Yep. And that's the thing. Um, what would we want? We probably want this, right? For the Ash Worlds. That'll be our next research. I wonder... Didn't I need two? Maybe not. Maybe I only need... Two more? I don't know. Either way, we unlocked this thing, so... We're gonna go with that next. Uh, what does this do? Plus three per pop on planets with luxury deposits on planets. That's pretty neat. What about this? Plus 25 per system level. Interesting. Plus three per pop. That sounds very useful, but I also don't know how to tell what a system level is. Uh, does it say somewhere? Plus four. Current number of active arcs. Working on efficient shielding. System population growth. Yes, I don't know where to see the system level. Our system white dwarf. System population count, current stock, system growth, turns until again? Turns until gain. Population gain, defense, okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing much. Hmm. Interesting. We're not gaining any manpower. That seems like a problem. We probably need to do something about that. I'm assuming that's tech we probably have to research, right? There's probably like some building... Plus 150 manpower capacity. Plus initial stuff on ships. What is this? G war camps. Manpower military. Plus 200 manpower cap on empire. Not really worried about manpower cap. More about manpower generation. Hmm. Manpower deployment limit. What was that about? It was this? I don't know what that is either. So many systems. So many things to learn. Hmm. I may have to look this one up because I'm not entirely sure how to generate more manpower. Maybe with my, like, leeching, I can steal manpower? That's a thought. Because, I mean, technically what I'm doing when I'm leeching is I'm, like, raiding the system for stuff. Right? We're essentially space vampire people that go around, get a bunch of, round up a bunch of local yokels and then suck the essence out of them. But, like, maybe we can keep some as slaves or something? I don't know. We'll try it. I'm not sure... I mean, we can go a couple turns without generating manpower, I suppose. Oh, is that our score? So we're behind, for sure. But I mean, this isn't exactly like a super growth empire or anything like that. And we just positioned ourselves in a great spot, so we should be doing a lot better soon. Alright, what are we looking at here? They decided to go off somewhere else. They're going to fight our arc with a shuttle. feel like that's not going to work out for you, man. Alright, let's take a look at this. Um, I don't think that we can change any of this. Yeah, you're kind of in the way. I wish you would not be in the way. I wish I could, like, minimize you completely. Um, but there are different things that you can choose. Different tactics and whatnot. Um... I think what we want is to just turtle? Minus 10% damage on weapon modules. Use this to improve defenses against energy weapons at the cost of attack. Well... 
can we tell if they have energy weapons? I think that's what the... If you look at the left and right, there's like a semi-lightning bolt and like a little meteor. I think that's projectile versus energy weapons, and it looks like they're all projectile. So I think we do the turtle one. What's this? X? Hmm. Show enemy fleets. Shuttle. Yeah, that's the same thing. Um. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and watch this. Why not? They're going to get wrecked. Look at that overwhelming power. Alright, let's launch the space battle. Looks like there's some comets floating around back there. That is their shuttle. Pretty neat looking shuttle, actually. And then our badass ship. <laughs> yeah, that arc ship is gonna freaking wreck it. <laughs> it's so tiny. Looks like they're using conventional rockets, which is interesting. Oh no, they shot at our huge armor pleated sides. Whatever will we do? What's this? Oh, you can change the battle speed. One sixty fourth. Because you just want to watch a battle for the rest of your life. <laughs> and it goes up to two times, four times. That's cool. Yeah, go to one. One times. Free camera. Decisive victory. Oh, we blew him up. I missed it. You can select the cameras. Very cool. Um, Let's see. What else? Is there? We gained some experience. That's cool. I don't really know what to do with that yet. We completely kicked their ass. Can we see how much health we have left? Mm, doesn't look like it. I mean, we kind of get the bar to like look at. But I don't see like... Oh, there's some hull points out of... So we lost like 200 hull points out of our 17,000. <laughs> I think we did fine. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's how the, the battles work out. It's similar to the first one where you just kind of like pick cards and whatnot and let the battle happen. But I still like it. I mean, it's it's... Great. It's better than it was before. I didn't like the card system initially. Now that you have some sort of like tactics and planning, I feel like you're there's a lot more strategy in the battles, but I haven't actually had a chance to start using the tactics more than just those three initial. It's still you're picking cards and then, you know, letting the battle play out, but at least there's a little more depth with three flanks now. Uh event ended, breathe deep. So we lost the vision range, that's fine, and military ship prices have decreased. Intergalactic peace has led to the decrease, it's led to a price decrease for military ships. Cool. That's a good thing, because we're about to get a bunch of military ships. Also, yeah, I didn't queue any of that up, did I? Hmm. Maybe I want to wait on a few of these. Because we did just... We're about to get this. When is this going to finish? Four turns? That's going to finish in nine. So once this is done, we'll probably build a combat-only ship and then build a couple of them over there. Hmm... That everything? I think that's everything for this turn. If we can let the ships move, they're not going to be doing much right now. And yeah, so we went from like 83, I think it was, to 85. Let's let's look at this. Um, the highest num empire is green at 160, and we're at 85. So let's see what our score improves at. 
and see what theirs improves at and see if we're getting better or worse. So 85 and 160, we got to remember that. Alright, so our score is the same. 167, that is quite a jump. I don't feel like we're improving score that quickly. What was that? It just disappeared. Unknown Empire. Hmm. Is there a way I can talk to this Unknown Empire? Guess not. That's fine. Um, what else do we need to do? I think we're good right now. We can just let some turns pass. And watch our fleets move and whatnot. Yeah, you don't have any stuff right now. We could use his probes, since he's in the system, to research some of this stuff. Actually, probably not a bad idea. If, uh... Collect you... Say... Just do a couple of them. Life form on planet Gecko was successful. We found some super spuds. Awesome. Um, so we'll get some... Opinion, or, uh, what is it called? I forgot what it's called, but... Our people is gonna like us a little more, and we get some more food. Dust to Dust solo quest. In the midst of a small asteroid be belt, your scouts have discovered a unique crystalline being. A fractal-like lattice whose sheer intricacy boggles the mind. As your probe stops to gather a tiny sample, a massive chunk crumb crumbles off, rotating slowly in place. I cannot speak again today, so sorry. I'm very sorry for my terrible reading. Um, the sample has some very strange properties. It appears to have some sort of weak directional resonance, like a needle in the undetectable magnet field. In an undetectable magnet field. Your scientists have never seen anything like it. Your fleet has its orders, of course, but you wonder if diverting your mission to seek out the source of this strange crystal affecting field be, could prove profitable. With scientists baffled, this is too good of a chance to learn something potentially revolutionary. Even if it is out of the way, orbiting the asteroid field is a smart choice. Um, Send fleet to the quest marker. Reward some titanium. Okay. I mean, it's a thing to do. I don't see why not. Where is it? Right here? Really? I mean, we were just there. We can do that. Sure. Uh, we're also going to have to figure out how to repair. Must be orbiting a friendly system. Easy enough. Mm. I'm considering taking one of these probes and just kind of shooting it off this way. Because we know there's more stuff over there and there's obviously empires over there. The other thought would be to shoot a probe this way. But I think this is more... More likely to find something. Let's do it. That probe is just gonna fly off into space and see if it can find anything. We're gonna send a fleet over here. He may die. I mean, this kind of sounds like the mission where something goes wrong and people die, but, you know, it's whatever. It's a cheap little wheel. We can make another one if we need to. New luxury resource has been discovered. Your empire has access to super spuds. That's from the, the thing. And... Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's about it. We have our pin quest. We can end our turn. Oh yeah, we didn't look. How did our score improve we at all? We only went we to 85. To cosmos on a mission of survival. Oh, cool. We finally met another empire. So these are the Riftborn. They're one of the, you know, AI empires. When you initially meet an empire, it seems like you start at a cold war. That's what this icon means. And they are reserved because they just met us. So we can attack this empire in our territory and in neutral areas. And only simple negotiations are available for diplomacy. Pretty simple. Um, we're not going to talk to them right now. Because we are going to end this episode. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying. We're just getting set up in our new little area. We're probably going to start trying to colonize the nearby systems. Like maybe Lahat or Zakor here. Because it has that crazy academy. And yeah. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.